y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Brittany and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos I usually focus on fashion beauty luxury lifestyle fragrances and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about so if that seems like something that you may be interested in please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content of course also if you're already a subscriber go ahead and click on that notification bell I tend to upload twice a week Sundays and Thursdays so I don't want you to miss a video in today's video we are going to be talking about design items versus their dupe okay do you save or do you splurge now dupes are not replicas let's start there so when I'm speaking about dupes I'm talking about inspired items so items that kind of look like the actual designer version but they are not portraying themselves to be the designer by having logos or the name or anything like that so I do want to clear that up before we get started and I asked you guys on Instagram what are some items that you are kind of going back and forth about should you spend the money on them or should you save and just get the dupe okay so let's go ahead and get started so the number one requested item for me to talk about was the mini jody from bottega veneta now i do so happen to have both so i have this mini jody which this is actually from bottega veneta this is in the kiwi and this is the original version of the mini jody so the um new versions are a little bit more rounded at the bottom and i think they're a tiny bit smaller um but they do now have different sizes in the jody itself but if you can notice mine has a little bit more of a squared off bottom um it's a little bit wider and i just love this bag the leather on this is impeccable. All of Bottega Veneta's leather is just like to die for. So it is gorgeous in that regard. When I got this bag, I think it was $1,500. They are now retailing for $2,500. So a whole thousand dollars more. And I've had this bag for at least two years, maybe at this point. Now I do have a dupe version. So you can see there is slightly a difference. I mean, it doesn't like hold its shape with nothing in it. I don't have any stuffing in that green one either. And this looks like this, but when it is stuffed, I promise you, I was in Chicago, what was it, 2020, and I was at the Bottega counter because at the time, I was looking to see if I really wanted to invest in the Jody. I didn't seem to finish my thought, but I was going to say that the Bottega sales associate in Chicago literally thought that this was the mini Jody from Bottega, y'all. So I was able to fool him even though I wasn't trying. When Bottega first started coming out with their newer bags and things like that, I was really skeptical about purchasing because, you know, Daniel Lee was like killing it. All the things were like super on trend and we all flocked to it. And I'm number one, you know, like the shoes. I have so many pairs of Bottegas that I love, um, but they were trendy shoes. So when it came to the bags, because they were a little bit more expensive, I was like, should I or should I not? So I had this bag first and they say that this is real leather. I'm skeptical on that, but I did pick this up at Amazon just to test it out. I love this bag, y'all. Like I reach for this bag a lot because I like the fact that it does not have visible hardware on it. It's just the perfect size, perfect red bag. So I found myself really grabbing for this a whole lot, right? Then my mom ended up buying me this one in the kiwi color, and I'm really glad she did. I do love this bag, and I do think it's worth it, especially at the price point that it was when I got it, because at $1,500 and the leather feels like this. It's a high quality bag that you can have for years. And when I decided to actually keep this bag, one of the deciding factors was the fact that it was the Intracchiato leather or the weaving that uh, Bottega does because this is signature to Bottega. Some of the other style bags were, you know, newer designs, which were gorgeous. But I do know that this style of um, weaving is very classic to Bottega. So when you are thinking about purchasing handbags and things that you may wonder like should I because it's so trendy or whatever have you I do think go with like classic colors or either a classic design in a fun color okay so I went for a fun color but it is a classic design and side by side honestly to the to the normal eye I don't think you can really tell a difference however Will this last longer? Probably. Um, but if I were you and you're not like just a huge fan of the style, you just want to kind of, 
you know, try your hand at it. You just want to say that you have this style of bag right now because it's trendy and you don't see yourself really gravitating towards something like this in this style for a very long time. Go ahead and go with the dupe. The dupe um, was 60 bucks. So very, very, very affordable in comparison to 15 or $1,700 um, and now $2,500 for this. There is no comparison as far as the feel of the bags. And even on my red one, the only thing I don't love is sometimes I can kind of see like that white. You see what I'm saying? So you can see that the leather is not dyed as impeccably <laughs> as the kiwi here. Um, and I've noticed that a lot on the colored bags when it comes to the dupes. Um, but this one doesn't say like Bottega inside anywhere. It's not trying to be a Bottega bag. But the bag in itself, I mean, they look pretty identical except this one is a little bit larger both have the same kind of lining which is like a leather lining leather lining same color it's just a beautiful style of bag i love a small bag and i just like this style of bag so um yeah that that's my advice on that like when it comes to Bottega's leather, nothing beats it. It's buttery, buttery soft. Um, and you can get some vintage bags now that Bottega has in this same kind of style, but they're going for like $1,000 too. So I think that this was a decent investment because the price point has gone up. So even if I was to sell this now, I probably still could get it for retail, you know? Um, but again, if this is not something that you're going to gravitate towards for years and years to come, go ahead and go with the dupe girl because I'm not ashamed of this. I still wear this bag. I wouldn't even buy the bag, you know, again in red just to say that I had the real Bottega. I use them just as much. So go for the dupe on this if you want. But if you really want to invest in something, I do highly recommend the Mini Jody. It is the perfect bag. I feel like I need it in every single color. And now that the price point is up, I won't be getting it. But at one point I was really contemplating getting the white, the black, the green, just so many different colors like that Kelly green that I love. So yeah, love both of these but the dupe is duping girl so i highly recommend the dupe if i can find this on amazon i will i've had this for a very long time so amazon does this thing where they get rid of those links so i don't know if it's still out there but if i can find anything similar i will it may not be from the exact same seller though okay keep that in mind and we're just gonna stay on the bottega train because i loved bottega when daniel lee was doing everything i really wanted every single bag and so here's another dupe or real right so this is the real one again in that entrecciato leather it's so heavy y'all this bag is such great quality like it's ridiculous i got this bag for a tremendous deal i don't know what was going on on my teresa a few years ago but they had this bag on sale and i snatched it up they had it in this color purple and pink i totally wish i would have got the purple color because it was gorgeous but y'all know my favorite color is green so this bag here and then the pouch bag here in Zebra. This one is from Amazon. You guys asked me about this bag a lot in the gold and I cannot find the link anymore, but I did find it in the Zebra, y'all. So would I recommend you get the dupe or the designer version? Listen, when it comes to these pouch bags, highly, highly, highly recommend a dupe because how often are you going to want to carry a huge, heavy clutch? Now, it's not so heavy that it's uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong. I would hold this clutch just like this. It's perfect. It's fine. It's so beautiful and soft and luscious, but I still get the same vibe here. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is a little bit more trendy. I think a clutch is great to have in your collection for years and years to come because um, it's just, it's a moment, you know, and you always need a nice clutch. This reminds me of girlfriends, like when Joan used to carry her huge clutches. So if you always kind of channel a certain style, it's worth it. But as a pouch bag, just a piece of, this is not real leather by any means, but just as a pouch clutch, I do recommend you get the dupe. And like I said, I have this one and I have the gold one and I have the gold in the little mini pouch too. So any more pouches that I get that is reminiscent of this Bottega pouch will be a dupe. Okay. So highly recommend you get the dupe. I wouldn't splurge on this because the original price of this, I think was over $3,000. Crazy, right? 
So yeah, definitely go for the dupe. Yeah. Now listen, I told y'all I love me some Bottega. So here is another dupe, okay? Had this for a very long time. Got this off of Amazon. Absolutely gorgeous, super heavy chain. This was the first Bottega bag that I actually wanted to purchase, but I did not like the price. And as you can see, this is like a new style for Bottega. Bottega is known for this type of leather, but when they came out with this, I was like, I love this bag. And you know, I'm a trendy girl. So anytime I see something new and fun and exciting, I really gravitate towards that. So I'm really, really glad that I did not splurge on this bag. I think at the time it was going for maybe 2,800 to 3,000. I can't remember, but I did try it on at the store y'all and it was so freaking heavy. That was the only thing that made me not get it because I wanted it in the chocolate brown but the chain on it was so heavy. This one's no exception. This bag is really, really, really heavy. This chain, very substantial, beautiful chain. It hasn't tarnished or anything from Amazon. I have this in this color and I have it in green as well. So I'm really glad that I never, ever, ever splurged on the cassette bag. I highly recommend you get a dupe. And I don't even reach for this bag as much as I used to. This was definitely very trendy and something that I loved at the time, but I'm not mad about it because I spent probably 60 or 70 bucks. Again, this is supposed to be real leather, but I'm skeptical about it. I don't know. It seems a little plasticky in my opinion, but it looks gorgeous. And every time I carry it, I get so many compliments on this bag, y'all. So it's definitely worth the 60 bucks. And I was able to try my hand at the trend without breaking the bank. So you don't need a cassette bag. I don't care if it did, didn't have the chain. Like the cassette bag is super trendy. It's not necessary. I do like when I see the guys wearing it, like it's a crossbody kind of like messenger bag. I think that's worth it. You know, if you're a guy and you're looking for a nice leather bag. Um, but honey, when it comes to this for us, for the girls, it's a no. It's a no. Go ahead and get you the dupe. Okay, y'all. So the next highly requested item for me to talk about were the Valentino pumps. Now y'all know these were on my wish list. Had to have them. Girl got them. I've worn them twice. Okay. And this has been probably a year or a little bit less than a year. Worn them twice. Okay. I think it's the orange for me. Like when I wear them because they are so bold, sometimes I feel like a clown. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I do kind of wish I would have gotten the pink, but I just felt like pink was so safe and I love the orange color. You know, orange was hugely on trend. I love this shoe. I love the silhouette of this shoe, y'all. Like, it's bomb. It's not the most comfortable. It doesn't hurt my foot, but it does take some getting used to because this part is very shallow. So your foot easily like comes out of the shoe, even though it has this um, ankle strap. However, I want to wear these more and more and more. So I was actually contemplating getting another pair in cream. And y'all know at the beginning, I was like that cream pair. I don't know how that's going to look on our brown skin because it's not nude. Is it going to be like too thick and chunky and look funny? Girl, Steve Madden. Okay. Steve Madden came out with a dupe. He has several colors in these shoes. So I went ahead and got the Steve Madden version. Okay. So this is what they look like. Let me um hold them side by side for y'all. Okay. These designer dupe. Okay. Can you see that? Girl, Stefan Jerome Madden does not play any games when it comes to the dupes. Okay, like these pretty much look identical. Okay, but as a real shoe girl, okay, as a real shoe girl, I do have to point out the differences. The toe box for me. I'm huge on a toe box. That's why I was an original Christian Louboutin type of girl. I'm huge on a toe box. I live for toe cleavage. You can see how low this toe box is. So it gives the perfect amount of cleavage and it just makes it look a lot more expensive. It's gorgeous. This toe box, a little higher. So it's not giving what it's supposed to give in that regard. But was I gonna spend another thousand dollars on a pair of shoes that I don't even wear that much? Absolutely not. I'm definitely gonna try my hand at it. And these do what they need to do. They're less heavy too. And I think they do have a little bit more cushion in there. They're not as shallow 
either. Even though it may look like it, it has a lot more coverage on the foot. So it's just easy to keep your foot inside the shoe. To me, they do look a little bit, I don't know. I feel like they look clunkier, but I don't know. These are just a little bit more sleek, but girl, honestly, can you really, can you really even tell? No, the only difference is, you know, the little buckle on the side. This just has like a regular buckle. And as you can see, we have the Valentino buckle here. Feeling them in my hand, I totally feel a total, total difference. Like these feel like quality shoes, amazing. These feel kind of like plastic a little bit, but still good. And the dupe is a hundred and something bucks. This is a thousand bucks. So it's just like, mm, yeah, I'm good. So I do like these a lot. I haven't worn them yet. I literally just got them in the mail like three days ago. Can't wait to wear them. I feel like I'll get so much more use out of these two. Um, so yeah, go for the dupe because how long will you want a Mary Jane, you know, bright orange shoe in your collection? Now, granted, Steve Madden doesn't have all the colors that Valentino has and Valentino is killing it with the colors, okay? That's one thing I do love. Like the particular colors that Valentino has, that pink is just yummy. It's like bubblegum pink. Steve Madden has a pink, but it's not giving the same. It's not giving the same. So if I was going to go for the Steve Madden version or the dupe, I would go for classic colors like the cream or the black, you know, because it makes a difference. But girl, go for the dupe because listen, these shoes can be very uncomfortable for a long period of time. So yeah. So the next pair of shoes that I was asked about are the Prada boots. Okay. Now, I don't know if y'all remember, I had these Prada boots. I think I got these from Boohoo, if I'm not mistaken. And when I got them, I was shocked at how good they look. Like they look amazing. But y'all, the sole on these are literally styrofoam. It does not give. And the more I wore these, the more I realized like I really like the Prada boot. It took me a year or so before I actually wanted to splurge on these. And I actually ended up getting these last winter. And I've worn these so many times. I love these boots. They are pretty heavy, but they are so comfortable on y'all. They fit so nicely. I love these boots so much. And I just like the edge that they add. So when you're wearing like your baby doll dresses, they look really good. When I'm wearing my leather uh, leggings, they look amazing when I'm dressed up or down like I love these boots I will definitely be pulling these back out but these definitely give you the look so if you're not into this thick type of boot go for a dupe if you can the only reason why I couldn't even wear these girls because I was slipping and sliding okay all over the concrete it didn't matter where I was walking it was just the sole on these are so cheap it's literally styrofoam y'all i don't know what they were thinking so that's the only bad part then if i could actually wear these and not worry about busting my behind i would have just kept these and been good but do i regret getting these absolutely not and they look amazing and this is the original style because the newer style is a little clunkier and chunkier but i love this one i love wow. these now speaking of prada i was asked about the loafers so these are my Prada loafers. I got my loafers from Zara. I had been wanting those loafers, really thinking about it, but I had to really sit with that. Cause I'm like, I know I'm not a loafer girl. I'm a heel girl. I will splurge on a heel quick and in a hurry, right? And a boot. But a loafer, that's not a part of my everyday. So I really had to think about that. And when I got these and I ended up wearing these, I wore these probably two months straight. And then I haven't worn them since. So I'm so glad that I got the dupe. And these do exactly what the Prada ones did, you know, especially the original Pradas. Um, now they have like the chunkier Prada loafers, which are really cute. But I'm over the loafer trend when it comes to this. Like I will probably throw these on come winter or, you know, in the fall, maybe once or twice. But this is not something that I'm excited to just pull back out. I do think that they are still absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Um, very cute. But you know, a thousand dollars in comparison to 89 bucks. I'm gonna go for the 89 every single time when it comes to these loafers. So of course I don't have the original Prada loafers, but girl, I'm so glad I didn't. And I like how shiny these are. These are like a little bit more my vibe. So 
yeah go for the dupe next up i have my alexander wang dupe now i don't have the original alexander wang the, but the cool thing about the alexander wang bag is that it's not overly expensive i think it retails for 600 but you can always find it for three and so if this is a bag that you just love you can go for the 300 but i feel like the dupe is a better option simply because most of the dupes have a regular leather strap the alexander wang i believe has like a nylon strap and it has Alexander Wang on it. So to me, it gives it a little bit more of a sporty vibe. This is already sporty um, because of the, the pouch type of look to it. But the crystals on this shine like no other y'all. Like this bag is so worth it. I think it was what 40 bucks at most. Like it was not expensive at all. So I would highly recommend the dupe. I won't be buying the um, Alexander Wang anytime soon just because I have this and it's perfect. Alexander Wang does have other colors like so they have the rhinestone blue, they have a yellow, a green, red, so many different colors and like I said you can always find them on sale but girl the dupe is doing me just fine and I wear this bag way too much for me to have only had it for probably less than a month okay. It's so cute. I love it so much. My next pair of shoes are the Amina Muwadis. Now I live for an Amina Muwadi shoe. Some of her shoes are amazing some of her shoes like these mm, we have thoughts okay these are my real Amina Muwadis nothing's touching this shoe it is a gorgeous 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 shoe like you can't get a dupe of this you know what I'm saying like and that's why I got this shoe now I had this one first granted these are clear they look disgusting they're super old but the embellishment girl looks pretty much the same it's not shining the same right now but these shoes hurt y'all and the reason why they hurt is because you have to size down. I find that the shoe is long but extremely narrow in the toe. So I had to size down for them to fit but the narrowness of the toe makes it hurt. So it's just like what's the point? But I have other shoes from Amina Mawadi that I absolutely love but some of her shoes are cheaply made. I do have to say that and when it comes to like these uh, clear heels like even my boots. I love my Amina Mawadi tall boots but I can hear that heel every time I walk and it has that clear heel like this. It's not reinforced like this one though. You can see I don't know if you can but inside this it's reinforced with the steel little heel and the clear one that she has is not and you can just hear that like squeaking noise. So it makes it sound cheap even though those shoes were $1,600. The boots were $1,600. You know what I mean? So when it comes to Amina Mawadi, um, I would go dupe first. That's just my opinion because it is a hit or miss with her shoes, okay? Just just saying. Last but not least, I wanna talk about jewelry. Now this one to me is really difficult when it comes to dupe or designer because someone asked me about my Van Cleef bracelet, okay? Now granted, I did have a couple of um, pieces, more necklaces from TJ Maxx and they were Van Cleef inspired. Smaller, not the exact same, you know, but definitely clover style bracelets and necklaces. For me, when it comes to fine jewelry, I'm never gonna tell you to go get a dupe because fine jewelry is just that. It is literally real precious metals and pearls. So this is the mother of pearl. It's real, you know what I mean? The gold is real. So. I have not removed this bracelet since I purchased it except for maybe two weeks when I let um, them resize it for me. Otherwise, I shower in this. I wear it every single day, including my um, my um, tennis bracelet. I usually have on my Cartier, but it got snagged on something, so I have to get that fixed. But y'all, I would never tell you just to go get a dupe. Now, what I will say is maybe try the dupe to see if you like it or if you invest in one you don't have to get six different Van Cleves. I know the girls are stacking them. I will stack this with another uh, inspired piece. It's not about what people say. It's about what you want to invest your money in. You know so for me I knew I wanted a Van Cleef piece. I knew I did and I wouldn't have rested until I had this. It didn't matter how many dupes I could get or how many inspired pieces of jewelry. It wasn't fine jewelry and it was not an investment so I knew I wanted this you know so yeah that's what I have to say about fine jewelry but when it comes to like the Dior choker or the Louis Vuitton earrings I find that to be really tricky simply because yes I do understand that it's not precious metals or anything like that 
but I don't like doing dupes when they are trying to portray something. So the only way you can get a dupe of this necklace is if it literally has the CD. Now you're pretending like you have a Christian Dior and it's not Christian Dior. That's different. That's a replica, you know, or when you have the Louis Vuitton earrings and they're not Louis Vuitton, that is a replica. That is not a dupe or an inspired piece. So that's my thought on jewelry. But listen, at the end of the day, like I said, it doesn't matter what other people are thinking about it. It's about what you love and what you find to be worth your investment. Okay. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was fun for you guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like this. If, if you have any other content suggestions, put those down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I will definitely link as much as I can find in the description box for y'all. And yeah, thank you again for watching and I will talk to you on my next one. Bye.